Hey everyone, Tactics here, and just a quick video here going over some pretty massive changes here for not only Guardian Druids, but all Druids in general, because we saw some massive talent adjustments on the 10.0.5 that just got pushed to the PTR. So I've got a blue post here specifically for Druids, and we also have the updated Guardian Druid talent calculator on wowhead that i'm going to go through as well and talk about some of those new things we've got so starting off the top here number of changes coming to the core and spec trees in 10.0.5 hope is to fix some of the underlying issues with the trees while still giving you some of the same options and overall build you've gotten used to one of their goals with the talent trees was to make it impossible or unlikely to pick talents that would do nothing for a character druid breaks that guideline in a couple places like feral taking talents that modify berserk without taking berserk Guardian and Feral, skipping swipe, etc. Most players don't do these, but we still want to tighten this up. This is definitely something that's very, very true. Even Guardian in that example can take things like the Berserk nodes without taking Berserk, the three point nodes in the general Druid tree as well. All of that is actually being addressed here uh, as well. They've also adjusted some of the positioning here of some of the lower nodes like Wild Growth, Sunfire. So that pathing is a little bit more clean. You're pathing through less useless nodes. You have more nodes or points rather available to spend because you're not dumping a bunch into multiple three-point nodes overall feels a lot better this seems like a lot of the changes we've been asking for for a large portion of the beta actually getting implemented and they're coming before 10.1 which is a surprise to me honestly and i'm i'm very happy to see it so some examples like i mentioned the three-point nodes going down to two-point nodes uh the improved swipe ability here replacing the old swipe ability some new talents as well like forest walk casting with increaser move speed and healing received by five percent could be interesting synergy with guardian dream of scenarius there i've got some amps to typhoon with like a, a size and range increase or a cdr uh some other uh, adjustments as well I'll go through that in a bit here when i go through the talent uh, tree in Wildhead, but let's go down to Guardian Druid real quick and talk about that as well. So, Ursine Adept was removed. This was the one that let you actually cast things in bear form, and notably, they finally allowed us to cast Innervate in bear form. Really, really happy to see that. Reading the blurb here, Ursine Adept concentrated too much on rotational functionality and defensive power into a single node. Didn't feel taking it or not offered enough choice to players. So we changed it to a Guardian baseline ability, adjust the initial section of the tree to account for its absence. So the beginning has been shuffled around a little bit because of this uh, they also adjusted a decent amount of connecting nodes and the final gate as well the most recent look at the guardian tree primary objective was to open up that final section for us it was very closed off before not really much lateral movement whatsoever and the previous iteration several bottlenecks for sure access to each final segment they've added new connections shuffled talent locations around to make more points of the entry into the section of the tree offer more freedom of choice which is something guardian was very lacking right? we're currently locked into like one build for raid one build for Mythic Plus with like a point or two of variation in your talent tree. So Reinvigoration, that frenzied regen CDR moved, Flashing Claws swapped places there. To preserve some point balance, they've added a bunch of new abilities and some of these sound pretty cool. So this uh, is essentially AOE Maul here, Raze. Uh, it's a spender, rage spender, that replaces Maul that does AOE damage reduced beyond five targets all enemies in front of you. Really, really cool. Uh, Thorns of Iron. This one sounds really strong. When you iron for, you also deal physical damage equal to 30% of your armor split among all enemies within 12 yards. That sounds really, really cool, strong, thematic. Even I'm interested in that very very much moonless night when you cast a single target ability on an enemy afflicted by moonfire you cause them to burn for additional arcane damage pretty cool there as well like i'm i'm down and of course the return of a lunar beam something i've been asking for uh, for a little while now i'm excited to see this hopefully it's in a pretty decent state tuning wise but we'll have to see of course uh, as well as of course the the new connections here and let's go over that actually so uh, a bunch of changes to cover here. Uh, notably for Guardian Druids, the whole like mass pathing through this area. Uh, you don't pick up nearly as many uh, bad talent points here, right? Star Surge off to the left. You still have to take Sunfire. Uh, Moon can form. You only have to put two points in Nurturing Instinct. Of course, let's look at the Guardian specific ones. You're going to improve Swipe. You're going to get Killer Instinct and Iron for, of course. Opening up the other tree, right? You have the ability now, Typhoon, and you can now get that giant Typhoon or CDR on Typhoon. Pretty interesting uh, decision there. Uh, you get your kick, 
And this now opens up into two different directions here, right? You can get your Primal Fury for cat weaving potentially without having to invest all this other stuff down here. Uh, you can go to your Matted Fur as well and both open you up to that in cap roar node uh, going down here as well. You have that Forest Walk trait, which is accessible uh, just from taking Stampeding Roar. So it's no longer improved Redo down there. You can get Forest Walk instead, potentially if you're doing a Dream of Scenarius type build in the Guardian Tree. Uh, overall, I'm just, I'm really a fan of this. We still have that one three point node in like Hera's teaching, but we did lose two three point nodes in Killer Instinct and Nurturing Instinct. And with some of these new pathing options and the removal of, or the moving of certain points that were kind of, uh, you never use, right? They're pretty useless for Guardian Druid in particular. I'm a big fan of a lot of the changes in this tree. Is it perfect? No, but it's much, much improved. And I'm very, very happy with this state of it uh, currently. Moving to the Guardian Druid tree, this I'm going to take some time, uh, you know, once the PTR is out, once the stuff on live is a little less new, to do a bunch of testing in this. Uh, but I am currently cautiously optimistic, uh, right? So the first area, like I said, has been rejigged a little bit. Front of the pack got moved all the way up here. Way, way, way better spot for it. I'm still not convinced you're always going to take it, uh, right? But the path thing down here is also a lot better. Uh, you can go Brambles into any of these three. Uh, you go Survival Instincts, uh, Mangle, or Fur in a resolve berserk and now that opens up the road right before you had to kind of invest i believe it was like nine or ten points uh, in this area to open up what you needed to but now with the exact number of points to unlock the next row eight you are able to move into literally any area below this which is very very nice you have some just changes to uh, icons here uh this fury of nature for example just changes to icons uh, but we have some new stuff i believe down over here right there's where moonless knight is that extra damage uh when you use a single target ability on a target with moonfire down there with lunar beam so you have this arcane theme going on in the bottom right and just honestly let's just look at the difference right look at all of the connections down here it looks like an actual talent now it's kind of wild it doesn't look like three little bundles like the current ones like you can go across in amazing ways right they move their ray generation finally into different sides of the tree the thrash ray generation is near the thrash stuff the moonfire ray generation is near the moonfire stuff Here's your uh, AoE uh, Maul, right? Your Rage Spender that does all the damage to so everyone in the frontal cone. Super, super excited for that. We finally have an AoE damage Rage Spender. Uh, you may not be forced into an Incarn build. This is kind of, kind of crazy. I'm super excited to actually play this. Like I said, cautiously optimistic. They seem to be, have been listening to a lot of the feedback we gave throughout beta, just not able to actually implement on it for 10.0. I was hoping for 10.1, but it looks like we're getting some really fantastic changes for 10.0.5. So I'm really, really happy with how this is looking. I think the tree uh, in general looks way better, especially down here, right? Look at all this movement. Like, look at all the way down, just straight down from all either side. This was not anywhere near feasible in the old tree, right? Look at this. This is... I'm so happy with this. Anyways, what do you guys think about this talent tree uh, change? What are you guys uh, hoping for? Uh, do you like some of the changes? Do you think uh, maybe some other things should be introduced? Let me know down in the comments below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Got a lot of tank content, raid content, Mythic Plus content all coming out very, very soon. Make sure you turn on notifications so you don't miss out. Otherwise, check me out on Twitch, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.